Hey guys, Thunder E here, and HTC has a brand new device with the U12 Plus. Yes, this is the latest from HTC, and it packs in a lot of features. But here are the top five features I think you guys need to know about with the U12 Plus. Let's start off with the very first feature. I'm talking about, of course, the camera. Not just the rear camera, which is a dual camera setup, but the front-facing camera has a dual camera setup as well. You've got dual 8 megapixel cameras, f-stop of 2.0, What's the big importance here is that you can now actually take portrait photos with some fantastic bokeh. Yes, this is actually done, I guess, the manual way. And HTC claims that this will do a really good job. Now, we took some photos to see, and it actually looked pretty good. Plus, you can customize the bokeh after the fact. So you can also increase it, decrease it, or turn it off after you take a photo, which is actually pretty cool. Now, second thing, of course, is the edge screen, or say edge screen 2.0. Improved from last year, I like to call it the squeezy feature. It's actually got more functionality this year and also is more customizable. You can map the functions to any app or setting that you want to. So you can go ahead and say double tap on the left hand side and that will actually minimize the screen to the left or double tap on the right, minimize the screen to the right. Or you can squeeze in a hole to open up an app or open up your flashlight. Uh, so you can map all these different, different functionalities and it makes it more useful than just squeezing from last year. So I definitely like that. Now the third feature on this device, of course, is has to do with sound. Totally. Now, HTC has done a great job in the past, of course, with the boom sound, and they've improved that this year. I'm talking about how this would be louder, better, and clearer all the way through. As you can expect, HTC has done a really good uh, job with this, and we expect to see much better with this device. You've also got um, you've also got an improved tweeter as well as improved uh, woofer on this to give you some really clear, crisp sound. And HTC also, HTC also claims that they will be getting up, up to 20 fit bit audio wirelessly with the aid of the Qualcomm uh, Aptex HD codec that of course you can find with the Snapdragon 845 processor. Now the fourth thing that this device also has, of course, has to do with audio as well. It's called, of course, the, the Sonic Zoom. Now Sonic Zoom is something we had last year, but this year HTC claims that it will be its improved up to 60% better. Now, if you don't know what Sonic Zoom is, it's pretty simple. It means that while you're recording the video and you're recording, say, a couple of people talking, you can tap on a certain individual and the audio uh, pickup will focus on that individual. So if you wanna actually get someone specifically talking louder than other people within your video recording, the, U, the U12 Plus will do that much better for you this year. And finally, the fifth thing, of course, with the U12 Plus is the fact it's got some really awesome color variants. We've got the fiery red, we've got the ceramic black. Now that fiery red kind of looks like gold and red at the same time, but they also have the translucent blue, which allows you to see some of the internals of the device. It's pretty cool and it brings us closer to something that Zach does best when he scrapes the back of devices so we can actually see through inside to see what is actually there. Now the U12 Plus comes of course packed with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor, up to six gigs of RAM, and up to 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Now they also will be getting gigabit LTE with the X20 modem built into that 845 processor. You've got water resistance in this device. There is no wireless charging though, uh, but it's packed in with all the things that you need to move forward. So what do you guys think of the uh, HTC U12 Plus? Is this a device that catches your attention? Uh, we'll be doing some videos on there, so expect to hear, of course, a speaker test battle with other devices. And also we'll be testing out that camera to see how good it is with its DxO mark score of 103, I believe, or 108, I can't remember right now. But leave your questions, guys, and let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.